Hello there. Is it really news that the House of Commons is full of rodents? You lot think that anyway. But I'm actually talking about the little brown jobs, you know, furry with a tail, rats and mice. And no, it's not news. This building is full of them. It's an old building, full of nooks and crannies. And no, I don't mean the bars where MPs drink, but they are feline their way, see what I did there, towards a solution. Come here, you. Yes, 8 out of 10 overpaid consultants would tell you within a whisker, the answer is cats. Introduce a couple in this building and the mice might vanish. But pause for thought. Downing Street cat Larry is about as active as a tired sloth and prefers sunbathing, yawning and publishing diaries to killing. But some MPs are demanding lethal force for mice. I want them dead. I and mean, It's not very nice when staff go in and find three on top of the desk, pooing and urinating. And I come in the next day and it's covered. It is disgusting. Mice, I don't mind outside, but in my personal space, in my office, I'm now frightened to go in at night, switch the light on in case they're scurrying away. Problem is, will Mr. Speaker splutter as Kitty drops a squeaker at the foot of his chair with an innocent face? <laughs>